handcart without jump packs on a Land Raider. Just Can we get attention? Oh, boom, up there. Hey, guys. <laughs> hey, guys, this is Huron. This is Doug. He's doing a... Uh, like first off, I'd like to thank you guys for all coming out and participating. And I have a few awards to give away tonight. Um, a few of them are not related to the tournament, so I'm going to go ahead and do those first. For being the first person to climb to the top of the IFL 40K Challenge Pyramid, Ben Lyons is doing himself <laughs> holding <laughs> his army. Oh, all right. Hey! hey. hey. Long face. But you can't play Facebook games ever again. You must sell them now. <laughs> Cheap. Well, once he right. gets all of the things. <laughs> you got a Marine Army, right? I, actually, we're going to challenge him and forfeit just to get him out of the top. <laughs> and so he has to play something besides Facebook. Yes, he does. The, uh, the 2009 Council. Don't say that. Those are the rules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, rules. the 2009 Council had um, a, a good year, and we were very happy with the with the events that we were able to put on, and um, hope that you guys were happy with what we were able to do. Um, as the last official act of the 2009 Council, uh, we would like to, we as the Council would like to uh, present to Don Morris for, for service above and beyond the call of duty, a lifetime membership to the IFL. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. All I got to do is move to Missouri. Okay. Now for the awards for the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Well, you are very, very welcome. First off, is our best appearance award. Difference. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I had it right. <laughs> for best for best appearance in the tournament, the award goes to Mr. Anderson. Huh? I didn't vote for him. Army. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. There was a kid at GW Sugarland the other day that looked at my entire army for five minutes and went, So what's the theme of your army? <laughs> no, this, this, this wasn't theme, this was painting. What is the theme? Our favorite theme. See, now we get a theme. Our favorite theme, the award goes to Austin Senka. Really? <laughs> I saw two other of those armies today. I was going to say, well, it's his army. <laughs> The all important award of best sportsmanship. <laughs> Where's the other brother here? Thank you. Ben Lyons. Ben Lyons. Stop your snickering. <laughs> Goes to Mr. Bill Donovan. Yeah. yeah. On, by the way, you would have also won favorite theme if you didn't already win best sportsmanship. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Go for the trade. Nice job, Bill. <laughs> By the way, everybody, we will be having a fundraising event for Bill's Race for the Cure. Absolutely. Later on, we'll post all the details and everything. We would like as much support as possible. All proceeds from that event will be donated to Race for the Cure in Bill's name. Definitely let me know, and we'll uh, hook you up with uh, yeah. stuff on the, the podcast and the blogs. Yep. Thank you. For our best general, the award goes to Baden Ball. Hey, uh, who's who's not not <laughs> and our overall champion for 40K goes to Sean Eversall. Who? <laughs> who's that? Oh, wait, but wait a minute. You said what? <laughs> Where is he? How did he win? <laughs> I lost a game. I lost to Kevin. Yes. Yeah. Your other scores put you over the top. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 by far, most favorite, most favorite appearance votes. Yeah. Thank you all for coming out. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug. Oh, Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug. Thanks, Doug. Great job, Doug. Thanks, Doug. I'd like to remind everybody, the two weeks from today, swap meet, here, be here a lot. Is the rep fire tour the same weekend? No, no it's, it's the weekend after. after that. Rep fire is the 23rd. Okay. Right. Best
best general. Kevin got best general. He got best general wrong. Nice job, Kevin. Big in the second. You were first. Sorry about that. Hey guys, here on here, um, the aftermath report for the IFL fourth quarter tournament. Uh, the tournament, uh, I'm a little surprised, but it seems that most people didn't like my theme. Uh, I really thought the Helen Griffins and the Con stuff was pretty cool, but uh, I got one of the lowest scores for theme overall. Uh, I got a, I actually did better on painting than I did on theme, and. Uh, my army wasn't completed and I actually had primed models in my army, which was a real surprise to me. So, you know, I've asked some questions on the forum and uh, we'll see what happens with that. The other thing from this art, from this uh, tournament is I found, figured out a couple of pieces of stuff that I've been trying to avoid adding to my army because they're going to take up points and I'm going to have to drop stuff I like. Um, but uh, stuff that is just required for the game. So, first off, I've got a Terminator Librarian. This is the standard Terminator Librarian model without his top piece. And, uh, I, if you look, I added a, used some GS, and I added a, uh, a little bump to his wrist. Um, and that's a, a like a docking port kind of thing for the Storm Shield. Uh, didn't actually have a Storm Shield, so I, I made one. Uh, these are some bits from a couple different plastic sources. There's a, a two wing, you see it looks like they're sort of a double wing in red. Well, that's because it was prime red, but there are pieces from a, uh, a Dark Angels uh, Raven Wing Sprue. The top pieces here, not the cross and symbol, but the top pieces here in the back are also from the Dark Angels Sprue. Um, and I sort of cut them up and put them together, and then to fill a gap that was in the center, I put the Templar Cross, which is actually pretty common throughout my army. I've been doing green Templar Crosses. Then I did a little detailing on the back just to make it look like there's power cords and things. These are um, the little cord here. Uh, you, you can see uh, it's not actually guitar wire like most people most people use. It's uh, the mechadendrite power cords that are on sale from um, Dragon Forge Designs. And I suggest you pick a bag of them up. You get a couple different sizes of them. They're really nice. And I've just started really using them. Uh, a good source to have. Also, uh, my four tactical squad, my three tactical squads in my army just have combi multigun sergeants. And one of the biggest things I found out is that a combi multigun sergeant, if a wraith lord assaults you, you can't kill it. In fact, nothing that the marines have without a power fest can kill a wraith lord. So, that means that I have to take these three models and make them into the sergeants of my three tactical squads. Uh, probably means that the, those guys are going to get moved around and shuffled and um, probably turned into uh, Vanguard or rather Stern Guard for my Stern Guard squad with combi multi guns. These guys will all be getting combi multi guns eventually. This is the standard Stern Guard sergeant. I have two of him and he's uh, going to become a this will become a multi, multi uh, melt gun rather, twin like multi gun, combi multi gun rather. Um, this is the limited edition model, and he's going to get a combi multi gun too. Uh, and then I've got this old uh, Games Day model, and I've already started turning his gun into a combi multi gun. So, you'll be seeing these in my army soon. Alright, guys, well, that's it. Uh, lots of battle reports posted here over the next couple of days. I've got my first tutorial coming up on Tuesday. Uh, I'll see you guys then. Talk to you later. Bye.